Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently in the stable version of Microsoft Edge for desktop. If we head into our settings and we head over to the appearance page, this is what it looks like to customize the browser to different themes. So we've got overall appearance here at the top and we've got our different themes, which obviously we can change uh, for the browser and then we can pop that back to default. Now, as you can see, this is a more kind of square, a rectangular look to it. And it seems that Microsoft could be thinking of changing this up a little bit. And because in Edge Canary 130 now, if we head over to the latest preview version of Microsoft Edge for Desktop and we head into Settings once again, navigate to Appearance, you will see now that the color theme is slightly different. And it looks like Microsoft wants to bring in a more kind of subtle look and feel to this. Now, although um, the feature is available, currently it's not working. So that color picker, um, although you can kind of change the color, there's nothing, it doesn't work, okay? So nothing is working with this new color theme. And it's not a default feature. And it has to be enabled using a command line flag, which I'll show you shortly. Now, this actually looks quite similar to what we get in Google Chrome. So it could be that Microsoft wants the color theme to look very similar to what you get in Chrome. So if we head over to Google Chrome, customize Chrome, you can see kind of heading in the same line and the same vein. So it's going to be interesting to see where this lands up. So I must be honest, I actually like the look and feel of this. And um, I think it looks a little bit more modern minimal, less cluttered, but obviously there's quite a lot of work to do because obviously it's still early days and this isn't even a feature that's available for testing behind an experimental flag, it's hidden behind a command line flag, so it's very, very, still very much in its infancy and it doesn't mean because it's hidden behind a command line flag that it may ever see the light of day, so, ever, so just keep that in mind, this may never see the light of day, but I thought this was interesting and just wanted to show you in case you are using Microsoft Edge. Now, if you do want to test this feature and you are trying out features uh, in uh, in Edge Canary, as always, to enable a command line flag, you right-click on any shortcut of Edge Canary. You head to your properties. In the target, what you do is you head to the end of that target. So that'll be .exe quotations. You delete anything if there's anything in front of that, you delete it. So after .exe quotations, you leave a space and you enter this command line flag, which I'll leave down below in the description for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference. Now, as mentioned, this only works in Edge Canary. This won't work in the stable version, so just take note of that. So once you copy and paste that in, leave a space, you click on Apply, click on OK, and then you'll have to restart the browser and then you should see this. And if you're not seeing it, what I would suggest is head into system and performance and turn off start up boost. That can interfere with a lot of these command line flags and prevent them from working. And uh, something else to take note of is that some of the features available in the stable version are still not available in this section. So there's quite a bit of work to do. But if we head over to stable, we can see a little bit more going on. And if we head back to Canary, we can see very early days. But nonetheless, I'll keep my eye on this. And I thought this was interesting and just wanted to let you guys know in case you are using Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.